in the Forever Room, I play a girl named Claire. And basically, she's kind of just struggling within her own reality. And I think that that was really enticing from the moment that I first auditioned for the character, because a lot of the time, especially women in my age group in this industry, it's pretty cookie cutter what we're given for roles. And so The Forever Room was a script that was just entirely something new that I had never seen before. And I just, I fell in love with this character and the complexities of her and getting, really actually my favorite part was getting to not be dolled up um, and actually the, and the complete opposite of that. And Claire is such a raw character and the entire film is so raw and so deep <laughs> um, in, in a really complex way. I tortured my rag dolls with less imagination than this. But it analyzes and it looks into relationships, relationships with people that we love. And I think, I think there's a very fine line between hate and love. And, and I think this character, Claire, kind of teeters on that a little bit. It was kind of hard, actually, because Helen comes across as such a nasty, scary, mean woman when she's really driven by, by almost a, a maniacal love for her daughter that, that blinds her, completely blinds her to reality sometimes and makes her make some very terrible decisions. And she was willing to do it for the love of her child, but resentment and it, it's it's like sam said it's it's that love almost it's it's like a knife's edge one side is love the other is hate and it's 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 a constant walking a constant balance between mm -hmm. the two you know almost any parent can understand those moments where you just you know you get so frustrated with with your child and you get so angry but you're always going to forgive and you're always going to do anything you can to protect your child. It's just, it's instinctual. In the Forever Room, I play Rebecca, who is a visitor to Claire. Claire, as she's struggling with her reality, Rebecca pops in and out. How can you eat that stuff? And kind of antagonizes that struggle a little bit, or like pushes and pulls her to try to figure out what's going on. And it's creepy and fun. There are so many different angles of what's happening. There's so many different emotions and highs and lows and pushes and pulls and who's got a higher status and then how it switches. What's wrong, Claire? The power play is really interesting between Rebecca and Claire. And I think all of the characters and their one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one scenes. A mommy's love. 